to learn more. Welcome back to Nessie. Welcome back to Module 2. Best practices for implementing policies and procedures. Implementing policies and procedures is a critical process for any organization or business. Policies and procedures provide a framework for decision making. For decision making, risk management and compliance, and help ensure consistency and, account consistency and accountability. However, the process of implementing policies and procedures can be complex and requires careful planning, communication, and training. In this article, we will discuss some best practices for implementing policies and procedures. Number one, conduct a policy and policy and procedures review. Before implementing new policies and procedures, it's essential to conduct a review of the existing policies and procedures. This review should focus on identifying any gaps, overlaps, or inconsistencies between existing policies and procedures. This will help to ensure that the new policies and procedures are more duplicative and that they align with the organization's objectives and goals. Number two, involve stakeholders in the development process. It's essential to involve all relevant stakeholders in the policy and procedures development process. Stakeholders can include employees, management, customers, and vendors. Including stakeholders in the procedures will help to ensure that the policies and procedures are relevant, practical, and effective. It will also help to build buy-ins and support for the new policies and procedures. Number three, ensure policies and procedures are easy to understand and follow. Policies and procedures should be written in a plain language, should be easy to understand and follow. Avoid using technical jargon or complex language that may confuse employees. Use visual aids such as flowcharts or diagrams to make the policies and procedures more accessible. Number four, train employees on the new policies and procedures. Training, training is a critical, crucial, training is a crucial aspect for implementing policies and procedures. Ensure that all employees are trained on the new policies and procedures before they are implemented. This will help to ensure that employees understand the policies and procedures and can apply them correctly in their work. Number five, communicate the policies and procedures effectively. Effective communication is essential when implementing new policies and procedures. Communicate the policies and procedures in a clear and concise manner to all employees. Use multiple communication channels such as email, complaints, internet, or posters to ensure that all employees receive the information. Number six, monitor and evaluate the effectiveness of policies and procedures. Once the policies and procedures have been implemented, it's essential to monitor and evaluate their effectiveness. This can be done through regular audits, reviews, or feedbacks from employees. This may help to identify any areas where the policies and procedures can be improved or updated. Number seven, review and update policies and procedures regularly. Policies and procedures should be reviewed and updated regularly to ensure that they remain relevant and effective. As the organizations evolve, as the organizations evolve, the policies and procedures should be updated to reflect the changing needs of the business. In conclusion, implementing policies and procedures requires careful planning, communicate, communications, and training. By following these best practices, Organizations can ensure that their policies and procedures are relevant, practical, and effective. Thank you all for watching.